Weighing in at 247 pounds, fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bagamaga! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 3 losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds, fighting out of Paris, France, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator and God. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Ready? All right, here we go, round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're gonna go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. That oh, big knee. knee! That knee hurt him. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, I'm instead of your wrestling? He's saying, Gano, I say, I gotta turn this weekend. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in the morning. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. No! He didn't like that one. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it. with the straight right. And they separate. Nice kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, what a punch. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Ngannou's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Ngannou goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. And he comes through with a big knee.
90 seconds remain in the round. Across the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh! Back to the feet. Hook shot lands. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Boom! Big jab. Oh, a single collar tie there. Doing sounds for the end of round one. All right, take a seat, bud. You okay? Good. Give me some water. Mm, relax, okay? Not a big deal. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Another strike lands there. Oh, good head movement there. Nice left. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Blocks the shot. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, big knee. Oh! He needs to start looking. Underneath that left elbow, he is badgering that left side of the body. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Pushing forward now. Oh, there we go. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done. He's going to get a team. And he's out. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. The Predator gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Up now. And now the damage is about to...
hot start. Body's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Blocks the shot. Escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life the way that he moved so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh! He's out! Oh! Woo! What a performance! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 47 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Surreal So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands 